Hey, welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. I want to say thanks to French Quarters Guest Department for being our New York City hotel. Let them be your headquarters in New York City. Go to FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. We're here with Trevor Price from Crowd Goes Wild on Fox Sports 1. We're going to talk about, you know, you mentioned this New Yorker article. Oh, yeah. And um, about how football players have to be smart. I completely agree with that because, you know, I played baseball, football, and basketball in high school. You could be retarded and play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you can. I mean, but, but or almost funny. retarded. You right. can, not in football, oh, man. No, I mean, you cannot. I mean, you it's know, a, you got to learn a bunch of stuff. You it's, know? A different, it's a different thing in John. And John is one of the smartest guys I've ever known. Right. right? I went yeah. to school with John. We all <laughs> John, left Michigan. John Ho. <laughs> this is John. Know, 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 He's one of the smartest guys I know. Yes. And and, I know. and the Football process uh, NFL playbook takes a different level. It takes a different kind of intelligence. Not a different yeah. level of it. It's intimidating. It's, it's intimidating. And yeah. I, I had an argument with a guy today in the show, and I said, I'm gonna bring you an NFL playbook, and I'm gonna give you three <laughs> days to memorize and process everything <laughs> exactly. in it. Exactly. And you tell me how smart you think Absolutely. you are. Absolutely. Yeah. No, it's definitely a, a different type of thing. And yeah, you, know, you talk about numbers and you know, there's creative genius and there's a scientific yeah. genius. You know, it's a lot, a lot of artists, brilliant artists, writers die Eminem. broke. M M and M, right? The greatest thing I've I've ever heard about him, and everybody knows how great he raps. He said he can't do simple math. Yeah. Like he cannot process numbers on a simple like you say, give him a long division problem. Right. He's like, I can't do that. But his vocabulary, so I process words faster and smarter, and yeah. I understand him better than anybody walking the planet. And listen to him rap. It's, right. it, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. His brain works in a different way than ours does when it yeah. comes to words. Well, a lot of artists, uh, you know, great writers in history, die broke because they don't know how to, they're Ed. horrible <laughs> businessmen. <laughs> no, Ed, Scott Fitzgerald, horrible. all these guys, they don't know what to do with money. I, no? I, 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 my, like my, my wife wants to get my son drum lessons. I wants all my kids to learn how to play an instrument. Right. I never took a lesson in anything, and I could pretty much pretty much handle my own on any instrument. Really? It has nothing to do it's just with- natural. It's just natural. Yeah, it has nothing yeah. to do with lessons. If they if they wanted to play piano, there's a piano in my house. Yeah. Go yeah. sit your punk ass down and go play the piano. <laughs> right. That's literally how it works. That's how, yeah. that's how Jimi Hendrix taught himself how to play the guitar. He plays it upside down right. yeah. and left handed. Yeah. That has nothing to do with lessons. Nobody God teaches you how to play that. It's yeah. God given. Yeah, it is. It's an intelligence. Definitely. They're not going to pursue it. The, every kid who's forced to play piano or whatever, they no, hate it. They, hate they it. never follow it up. They hate it. You have to be dying to play and begging right. your parents. Well, I was please, just watching, please. you guys, you know, the, the movie Amadeus. I just watched that the other day about how just. That's so you funny. You know, like how. Uh, you know, F. Murray Abraham is so frustrated because he's begging God to get the talent I'm a day. Yeah. <laughs> and this stupid kid just running around like an idiot laughing is writing these brilliant, yeah. you know, and he's like, I mean, that's 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 yeah. it. You know, it's frustrating. Yeah. Uh, Richard Pryor, uh, there's another example of a guy, like a brilliant yeah. artist who, who, you know, the rest of his life was a mess. But, you know, we benefited from that because he was able to turn that into brilliance on stage. I, I, you know? I, I, I often think the best stand-up comics are for... Oftentimes, I think the smartest people walk on the planet. Well, because yeah. Because because if you can process humor, right? If you can pro nothing harder to me that I've tried than to write a joke. Mm -hmm. To write a joke that people are going to find funny and smart. You can write fart jokes all day, right. but to write something like Richard Pryor and talk about your life and process information, the whole thing about the two guys walking in the San Francisco Bridge. Hey, the water's cold, and it's deep, too. <laughs> that takes a level of intelligence to me. As stupid as that joke is, yeah. it takes no, a level you know, of intelligence He, he turned me. tragedy into, into brilliant comedy. That's what I, I always looked up to him. But, yeah, so, I mean, I completely agree. It's, it's surprising that someone took that long to write an article like that in yeah. a legitimate publication. Yeah. What did the guy follow? He's followed the Jets or something? He was on the Jets for a year. He was a, he was a kicker yeah. of the Jets, or he tried, to, he tried out for the Jets for a year, and he said he would go into the... Uh, Team meetings, <laughs> and they would talk about Ryan Fitzpatrick, the uh, the quarterback from Harvard, yeah. who was playing for Cincinnati at the time. They say, "Listen, if you pressure him, he might not throw the ball. He might throw a book at you." <laughs> that was that was the joke. That was Rex Ryan's <laughs> Rex Ryan's favorite joke was All anybody right. from Stanford or Harvard. Hey, watch out! He throw a book at you, yeah. <laughs> which might not, which may or may not be true. <laughs> right. But still, it was it was in, indicative of what he thought. Uh, how smart the kid was. Well, there's a guy, we were talking about different forms of intelligence. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he may be a really smart guy, but I don't think he completely grasps football. the football intelligence he that doesn't. he needs to to play quarterback yeah. effectively in, in the in league. NFL. The nope. throws that he makes, he can't conceptualize the the contours of a defense the way right. he needs to. Right, exactly. He can't, like, spatially, spatially, he doesn't get it. And you know, and you know who He doesn't does? quite get you it. You know who the best I've ever seen at? Ray Lewis. Yeah. Ray Lewis had a 13 in his Wonder League. 
Wow. It was low. <laughs> but there is there is nobody yeah. I've ever been around uh, who can process information faster. Like instinct. It it yeah. instinctively yeah. that on a football field, yeah. spatially, like like John is saying, space wise, and see something as the teams line up and says, That's this. That's this. Yeah. Forget the film, forget all that. Just conceptually, you can't throw the ball here if that's happening there. Yeah. He knows that. Right. I, mean, right. I can tell you that, but to process that in two seconds, yeah, and then right. do it. It take it, and then do it. It yeah. takes a level of it takes a level of of smarts to do that. I agree. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right. So the game's coming up now. You got your old team, the Broncos. Um, what do you think is going to happen? You got any predictions here? Uh, I think I think the Patriots do win the game. Really? I yeah, I do, and only because. Um, they're running the ball now. Okay. And, I, and I've always been on, and anybody can tell you, football to me is built on two people. The guy that throws the ball and the guy that tackles the guy that right. throws the ball. But aren't they beat up a little bit, the Pats? Yeah, they are, but they're running the ball with a 250-pound back who looks like he just got out of prison. <laughs> yeah. Garrett Blunt, he, he looks like a man now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if, when you can run the ball like that, especially against Denver, when you can yeah. run the ball in that altitude, at that time against that defense, which is not that stout right now. Right. I mean, they bullied right. San Diego around, but San Diego was playing with backup guards. Right. And and right now, the Patriots have, I think, who is really the league MVP in Logan Mankins, their left guard. Because he pulled on that play where LeGarrette Blunt sprung that 75-yard yard run, and he pulled John and gave number 90, the middle linebacker, a face full of Patriots. Mm -hmm. And it was unlike any hit I've ever seen on a football field wow. by, by a pulling guard. Right. And it, was just, it wasn't like he picked him up and slammed him. He just hit him square in the face, and homeboy got out of the hole. <laughs> and here comes a guy blunt down. The, no, if you watch the highlights of that game and the whole thing, practically is Brady handing the ball off. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah. Absolutely. So if they do that, and they put that on film so Denver is preparing for that. You can't prepare for everything. Yeah. So they're either going to do that or come out in a running shoot a run and well, shoot and completely confuse everybody. That's John, the thing. I mean, Denver Denver will prepare to stop the run, and they're pro they have to make a decision: Do we get heavy, and right. uh, you know, stop Legarrette Blunt, right. uh, or do we go light? Go light, and and I and I think I think the thing that, well, the, I think the thing that makes the Patriots so dangerous right now is just like they always do defensively, just like Rob Ryan did when you know in. Uh, with the Ravens and with the Jets, I mean, he he he'll put nebulous looks out there defensively, where the offensive line can't tell if they're blocking three right. down or four, or four down. down. Yep. And then uh, and they can't off, not identify the mic. Right. You, yeah. No. If you have one guy who can't figure it out, then everything, the entire blocking <laughs> scheme is out the window. Football intelligence again. Yeah. If one of us is wrong, we yeah. are all going to be yeah. wrong. <laughs> one of us does not take, uh, especially in offense. If one of us does not take the proper step. Two feet, the entire thing is screwed. Yeah, yeah. that's I know. what football I mean, intelligence. Well, actually, I, know. I don't. I, I don't know what the hell you guys just talked about right there. Well, <laughs> well, you know, so but no, you... and then offensively, I think the diversity that the Patriots can present is going to create some real problems for a Denver defense that's just not that good. All that being said, I feel like Denver wins it. I, I feel like Peyton. Somehow well, you got Peyton at home. Musters, That's the best thing you got. Musters you know, yeah, yeah. enough. Yeah, well, Peyton at home last year. I, I think, I think that that game last year will start will haunt them. Mm -hmm. That game against the Ravens last year. If yeah. this thing gets, as a if bad this loss. thing is close, oh, that's a bad loss. Yeah. If this thing is close in the fourth quarter, if it's a if it's a three point swing either way, the Patriots yeah. will win. Okay. Now, well, listen. Here's well, the thing: the, the Broncos a running game to deal the, with. But the Broncos got, can run it uh, too. You know, that's Brady. the thing. That's right. it. The Broncos can run it too, and when you're missing Vince Wilfork and Tommy Kelly yeah. and Gerard Mayo and Brandon Spikes, all those guys in the middle, those those are four really they're good football hurt. players, yeah. Yeah. and they just don't have them, so they're thin. I, yeah, they don't right. have the depth. They don't right. have the talent right in the middle of, of their defense, defense. Right. and you've got two really good backs in Monte right. Ball and, and uh, uh, no Sean Moreno, no Sean Moreno who, who, who Peyton will put in the proper plays to that, put them in an is, advantageous position. The, 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 the problem with oh, <laughs> the problem with that is the problem with that is this that Bill Belichick knows that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, see, the, everybody wants to make this um, Tom Brady versus versus Peyton Manning. Yeah. It is not Tom Brady versus Peyton Manning. It is Bill Belichick versus Peyton Manning. Yeah. Right. Yep. So Peyton Manning could care less about what Tom Brady's going to do. He cares about what Bill Belichick is going to do. Right. And, yeah. and if he thinks 
If he thinks that Bill Belichick is going to allow them to hand the ball off and get five yards in a cloud of dust the entire day, you are sadly mistaken. Yeah, not yeah. Bad. Belichick's, I mean, they're, they're, that's a winning organization, the, the, the Patriots. They're pretty impressive. If they, uh, if the Patriots win this, it will be entirely because of of scheme. It'll it'll be, be scheme. scheme on it'll both sides of the ball. Right. It, it amazing chess coaching. Uh, chess pieces. It's yeah. chess pieces. You got to know how to play chess. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I've lost a lot of money on football over the years. I am not football <laughs> intelligent. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what intelligence I am. Uh, uh, my mother claims it's something. I'm not sure what it is. We have to take a break. The Audie Lang shows back uh, after these words. Welcome back to the Audie Lang Show. I want to, I want to, uh, I, I wish that reincarnation was, was real. I would love to bring back the head of the Ku Klux Klan in 1930 <laughs> and show him today at the White House. <laughs> Black I would president, love... <laughs> Mexican basketball coach. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Fantastic. I would love to just look at his reaction. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah. Godly. Why is one of the players at the podium? <laughs> well, <laughs> the president. That's guess why. what? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. Use it. Use that. Yeah, use that. That's I'm a good one. I'm using that. Definitely. Take it. Uh, all right. So, um, uh, so yeah, we yeah. differ on the you AFC. Did, yeah, what about the game? NFC? That's going to be, I think, a great game, right? Or but, no? First, let, let's let's state yeah. the obvious. Right. The Super Bowl itself, everybody's going to be completely worn down and be like, really? Nobody really wants to watch Seattle and Denver play. Or <laughs> whoever's going to play. <laughs> The, also, Super, the Super Bowl this weekend, we're having we're having two Super Bowls. Uh -huh. We are having, yeah. first of all, who in the hell wants to watch Manning and Brady play again? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Give somebody, this is why people it's, die. Well, it's, the, people, it's probably people the die, last time. You people know. die to make room for other people. I asked my dad this when I was probably five. So right. why do people die to make room for everybody else? Sure. These two <laughs> just won't make room for anybody else. Yeah. And that's fine. But we are getting two games that, the two games we wanted. The two yeah. teams, we have four teams that hate each other, mm -hmm. four teams that, that know each other, right. and yeah. four teams that will shove and push and fight and spit to beat each other. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be great games. Right. Yeah. All right, now moving on to NFC. The San Francisco 49ers are going to win that game okay. because Seattle's defense, as great as they looked on tape, mm -hmm. as much as they jump around and point fingers and knock people out, gave up 409 yards. In the rain. Was it 409? Yes. Wow. To a team that plays inside. Uh -huh. yeah. You see what I mean? Oh, God. You gave up 409 yards at your home in the rain to a team that plays in perfect conditions. Your defense is not playing that great. People so they're talk overrated. About Are they not, overrated? I'm just not, not playing that They're the best corner right. in the game. They have pass rushers. But there is something schematically wrong. There's something I wrong somewhere. I think it's somewhere. discipline. I think it's, it's lame. A lot of it. Man. A lot of it's discipline. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's discipline. So, like, like John says, okay. spatially, they have spatial problems. Yeah. Okay. So you think uh, the Niners easily win that game? Not easily. Right. But it's going to be bloody. Think, like, I mean, it's going to be. It's going to be a bloodbath. You like no. the Niners too? I do. Yeah. And then the Niners take the Super Bowl. I think so. Right. I, it's a tougher. Te it's the toughest team in the NFL. Yeah. What about the weather situation? Because this is the craziest winter in a long time around here. And we go from like a mild day to like two degrees Arctic temp. What if it's yeah. what if it's two degrees Super Bowl Sunday? Does that affect your decision at all? No. No. That, it it enhances. It my makes the commitment. Niners better. I better it, have a better yeah. chance. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Uh, no one wants to play in the cold. I you nothing you worse. have to be insane nothing worse. to actually want to go out there and hit people in the cold. But when you have that mentality like the Niners have and like Seattle has too. To give them credit, I mean, they believe that they're tougher than everybody else. That's a part of and it, and they play like it because you know they draft from the same pool of players everybody else can draft sure. from. So I'm sure there's there's guys on other teams that are way tougher physically than the players they have, but mm. their head coach preaches that we believe we are tougher. Yeah. And okay. if you say it enough, hey, I believe I'm thin. Yeah. <laughs> Keep saying it. Yeah. Keep saying it, homeboy. After a while, you start to believe. I believe that I was thin for a very long time, and I am not. I said yeah. it all afternoon today. <laughs> what uh, now? What about this? I ask everybody this, uh, Trevor. Do you think uh, if it's two degrees, it'll affect Bruno Mars's set list? <laughs> <laughs> very much so. Yeah. Homeboys gonna be out there like in a parka. Whoever <laughs> a bloody mess. Yeah. That would really look terrible. <laughs> yeah, it <looked> terrible. <laughs> Whoever's playing for the AFC in the Super Bowl, they they will be just bludgeoned by 
one of these NFC teams, probably the 49ers. That's right. I, I believe that, too. And they, they will, <laughs> team, halfway right? into the game, you know? they're going to want to quit because <laughs> it hurts so much more to hit people when it's cold. Like, yeah. right. as soon as you get below, you know, 40 degrees or whatever, it's a mess. it starts getting, like, real stings. stingy yeah, stings. and rattly. Yeah. And, 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 and your helmet starts to rattle. It burns yeah. and it's, ah. It's terrible. You can't. It's and, awful. And, that, and that's the thing. Jim Harbaugh preaches that mess. Yeah, Jim and Harbaugh man, likes he that. He loves that. He's he got his guys his stands. Guys. He, yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. For that's some what reason. I mean. Can anyone want a game more than Harbaugh? If you got, I mean, can anyone oh. want a ring more than that guy after last year? Lose to oh, his right. brother, all that hype. He's a lunatic. I mean, right. He's a lunatic. He, he is a lunatic. You know, no uh, doubt about as it. As a player, he was nuts. So this is the guy, you're right, that's going to have them motivated. Oh, yeah. Sa- a, a team of sadomasochists. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the 49ers. And, and that, you know what? And the thing is, the great thing about it is he, he took a roster. He inherited a roster. Same roster that Mike Singletary made, yeah. got to 5-11. and 11. Took them to the AFC Championship, NFC Championship his first year. Yeah. Been to the NFC Championship every year he's been a coach. Whatever yeah. he is preaching is working. That's amazing. Schematically, right. I get it because, you know what, I, I, I remember when I changed teams from Denver to, to the Ravens, and we were playing the Ravens that year, and I had one of my playbooks, and I gave it to our offensive coordinator. He said, I'm supposed to do with this. Look at it. It's a plays. He said, I can see all the plays in the film. <laughs> I don't need that. And it yeah. was like, it yeah. was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> he was like, everything that's in here is on that tape I just watch in my office. So I yeah. don't need this. You know what yeah. I mean? So schematically, if everybody does the same thing, it should be even. We all pick from the same players. But whatever he's doing to yeah. make those guys believe they are tougher than everybody else, they are buying it. And sadly enough, we are buying into it. That's you, why we keep you, voting all them into the Pro you're Bowl. You're buying a Kaepernick being a guy that no matter what will have a great game. I think he's inconsistent. He could have a bad game. No, he, he, bad game. he throws an inconsistent ball at times. Right. But That's, the thing but, is, but he has it a is, bad game. Is, it is fast. Yeah. It's like a I mean, fast. He's got he's a big a arm. Fa- oh, my God. But the thing that they hang their hat on, and the thing that you can t- when you watch the, the tape, I mean, they spend so much time on the run game. I think more than anyone else like anyone else in the league because they're coming up with different schemes every week yeah. and they're crazy schemes. I mean, like right. you have like a tight end and a fullback offset this far from, from each, each other, other yeah. in the backfield. Yeah. And then you got like a full house. Look, I mean, you got, you got five guys jargon. in the backfield and, and they're all lead blocking or you're pulling guards the wrong way <laughs> and whamming back put on the like guy. This. Put, put it like that, this. Let me give you, let me give you a perfect analogy. He's playing basketball. Your point guard goes on to goes on to the uh, free throw line. Instead of shooting the ball this way, he turns around and shoots the ball this way. That's what playing against them <laughs> oh, is like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that crazy. Makes sense, right? yeah, it's I know. Everybody, look, look. Miami Heat. Everybody's on play with their back to the basket. I don't care what happens. Yeah. That's how crazy it is, and it works. Yeah, yeah. but, but you, you another... can't compare. You, you can't prepare for it necessarily because it's always new stuff. Right. And the bottom line is all this weird stuff they're doing. They're still just punching you in the face. <laughs> so that's the beauty of it. Another thing, Colin Kaepernick, and check this on the internet, has the same exact nose as Giselle Boonchin. We pointed this out last year. <laughs> check it out. Really? Maybe we're going to go side to side. We'll, 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 we'll get into that. No other hmm. show is pointing this out. <laughs> the Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.